so let's have a look at linked list now we are going to see the introduction to linked list means here we will cover some points the advantages and disadvantages of linked list and what is exactly linked list and why it is required now for understanding linked list first you have to understand the array so an array is a collection of elements of the same data type so this definition means that now suppose you want to declare an integer you do it like int a okay so a is an integer but if you want to store more than one integer in only one declaration if we want to say it simply so then you can declare it like this okay this means this is an array of integers means there will be more than one or one integer there can be an array of size one also or uh, means most of the times it will be of the size more than one now now suppose the size is 10 this means there are 10 locations continuous locations which will store 10 integers okay now see this is an array for example with six locations okay so the declaration will be like int a and the size is six okay now the first element of this array is located at memory location thousand then the second location is 1004 this is because an integer takes four bytes see an integer takes four bytes on typical compilers if you use traditional compilers like turbo c it takes only two bytes on traditional compilers but uh, just consider it as four bytes as generally today all the compilers take four bytes for one integer now so the first integer is at 1000 location second integer at, it is at 1004 obviously the third will be at 1008 then 12 16 and 20 so this is the continuous memory allocation okay now now if you want to insert like suppose if it is the integer 1 on the first place then 2 3 5 6 and 7 okay after some time if you want to insert 4 in this array okay the first thing is now the array becomes of size 7 it should be made of size 7 to integer an extra 4 there right but this is not possible in the array because you cannot change the size of the array in real time means in run time of a program means suppose if you if you are writing a program like int a of 10 you have declared then after you start writing the code then while writing the code you cannot change the size of the array any time right you have to redeclare the whole array for that if you want to change the size so that is not possible in the array to add an extra location in run time then the second thing is suppose we do it means we declare the array again and we just uh, increase the one location okay now you have to take 4 here and you have to rearrange the array so 5 is shifted by one place then 6 is shifted to next place and 7 is shifted to the next place so these many shifts should take place now so this is the disadvantage of array that while run time you cannot uh, increase the size of the array or you cannot uh, like uh, in the other words we can say uh, you cannot insert the 
element in the array only with one memory access because here you have to do many shifts so you have to access all the memories after that insertion place okay now so what is linked list now what is its advantage over array so for that first we will understand linked list see a linked list consists of a node i will just clean it okay see so this is a node okay so just consider it hypothetically afterwards i will tell you the technical details so this is a node suppose this this node is of size for example like 8 bytes okay see if you know structure then you can understand why it is 8 bytes like it can consist of any data see this is a node this node is declared here then integer data so that integer will take 4 bytes suppose you want to store a character again character c so this character will take 2 bytes and again the size for the pointer this pointer the size for storing this pointer again that will be 4 bytes now suppose only in integer data is there and the uh, pointer is there so it will take 8 bytes now so this node is divided into two places because there is an integer data and there is a pointer now what this pointer is about c if this is the first node then this data integer data is stored here okay this is the integer data and the next place is storing the address of the next node suppose this is the first node and the second node is here okay now so this first place means the first node and this place of the next pointer will store the address of this node means suppose this node is at 1000 place and this node is at 2000 place means uh, the memory address of this node is 2000 then here 2000 will be there the value of this place the value at this place is 2000 the memory address of the next node so that that is here now what is struct node so this is the data type means as we declare an integer pointer like int star ptr you must have seen somewhere now int star ptr which means this pointer holds the address of an element which is of an integer type that the same thing is here the next is the name of the pointer which holds the address of the element which is of struct node type see this is the data type means you can say it as uh, if you declare like struct student see student is a data type now and inside that data type you declare like Uh, character name then integer roll number like this total encapsulated thing or it is called as encapsulation so we are taking all the things together and we are making a new data type this is our uh, man made means we can say uh, this is an artificial data type just hypothetical data type in your memory location there is nothing like uh, such data type like student but we are creating it we are arranging that data type so now so here we have created the data type and that is node node is the data type means that is the structure 
now it holds the address of the next node so here you can see this is the first node that is on the memory location 1000 that holds the address of the next node which is on the memory location 1030 then this node holds the address of the next uh, node which is on memory location 1040 and the last node holds the address of null because that doesn't point to anyone as that is the last node so this is the way a linked list is there it is similar to array but now what is the difference see if you want to insert <laughs> a node in a linked list you can directly insert it here suppose you want to insert it here just change the pointers see create the node means blankly there is a function to create the node means to allocate the memory to the node we will see that in the program before that you just imagine we have created the node so this node i have written it here so this node has been memory uh, has been assigned the memory location for example 3000 okay so make the next pointer of the previous node to hold the memory location 3000 okay and the next place means the next pointer of this node will hold the address 1070 see means that will point to this node so in this way this node is inserted in the linked list see there are no efforts there is no rearrangement or there is nothing and the declared size is also not a restriction because we don't declare any size here we just go connecting the nodes now where this is important for example if you have a website where many people are visiting the website every day so do you know that how many people visit your website every day no not exactly because it can be 100 200 1 lakh 2 lakh or 1 million 2 million but not the exact number so here the dynamic memory allocation is needed so that is why linked list is important now again the next advantage is insertion or deletion easy so that i have shown here and no size limitation as you know there is no nothing pre-declared for a linked list now what is the disadvantage so first is sequential access c this array i can directly access if the index of the array is like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the index of the array so if i directly access a of 3 i get direct access to that memory location just o of 1 o of 1 time complexity but in linked list if you want to go to the fourth node you have to go with that chain means you have to visit this node first then the second third and then you will go to the fourth node right so this is the reason why in linked list you have to uh, trace every node for reaching the location where you want to insert the node or for reaching any location where you want to search or delete then an extra pointer see the size increases in array only this integer is here but in linked list you have an extra pointer means this extra size is wasted the extra size so the extra size is wasted here to store this next pointer so that's it that is the disadvantage of uh, link uh, yes link list hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.